Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. The Nilf Guardians are on our tail as we're leaving Isgid, which uh, hmm, makes me wonder if we're gonna head towards Geralt, maybe? We'll see, we'll see. So, Only moving on. Her strengths end, Meave stepped up her pace. She could not wait to stand upon a barge deck and leave Angren's infernal bogs behind. Alas, in place of the promised vessel, they found only severed moorings. No! No, it can't be! Suddenly, Meave drove her fist into the trunk of the nearest tree. Fortunately, a soft and rotted one. This isn't so! This matches the books! This matches the books! I'm really excited about this! Your Grace! I... have mercy! I stepped away, but for a spell. Croaked a scout, pale as a ghost. And thieves jumped out the underbrush. Fell upon it. Whole band of them. A white hair warrior. A minstrel. And a lass. There we go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, is that all? Yes. Interrupted Gascon. No vampire sat upon an ass with no saddle. You <laughs> cut up, man. Damn it. Me. <laughs> what now? The queen turned back towards the swamp. Between the trees, she glimpsed a golden sun glimmering upon a banner. We shall discuss that later, said the queen, drawing her sword. Provided we survive. Um, the reason why I'm laughing, uh, because of Gascon's <laughs> remark there, no vampire sat upon an ass with no saddle. Um, actually, if you've played The Witcher 3, uh, especially the Blood and Wine DLC, you probably know Regis, the vampire, the friendly vampire, and he should also be part of that group. <laughs> and he actually has an ass, a donkey, that he rides upon. So, pretty accurate of, from Gascon, but uh, they might have actually cut Regis from this. But yeah, a white haired warrior, a minstrel, and a lass, so you know at least two of those three. It's so a battle of the Yoruga, and so, rather than board the barge, Meave mounted her horse. Furious with her misfortune, she clenched her jaw and led a charge against the enemy. Should I ever come upon those thieves, she thought, I will have my vengeance. Story battle, shortened battle, and uh, I'm so ready for this. This is gonna be awesome. I kinda know what's going to happen if they match the books, but still, this is, this is gonna be awesome. Uh, great starting hand, by the way. Here we go. Wise choice. So everyone rally to me drive them back every two target for every two cards played draw a card so that matches the the fact that there's an entire army waiting for us the next time an enemy uses its order boost south by two and gain two armor so we need to get rid of those cavalry units um my leader ability is an order ability so i'm gonna have to be careful but with the Rivian Sapper, we can take out two out of the three. And that's not an order ability. There we go. And the turn. Okay, fair enough. Now, let's put a drummer down. Left, right, left, uh, So right. he gets... Two. Next time an enemy uses its order, boost out by two and gain two armor. If it's a unit, damage it by three as well. Okay, so we need to take those out. So, Meave and Granny Blade pull the Rivian Sapper back. That's gonna boost them, of course. But, we might be able to take out some other guys in return. What was the first one I selected? The only two, right? Yeah. War Wagon. So they're getting boosted. There we go. And the third. Order! Yeah, we're gonna lose. If I'm not careful, we're gonna lose. Whenever an ally appears, gain a charge. So I don't wanna risk that going off any further. So, that means I need to use the Devana runestone to copy the light infantry units and destroy three of them. That kills one of the Alba Armored Cavalry, which is great. And then I can use the Rivian Onager to kill... Yeah, I'm gonna keep boosting that guy, but I don't really care at the moment. Like that. Okay. 
and then end the turn. Your life is mine now. And get another black infantry arbalest. But with the Ligan Hush Duke. Oh man, it's gonna hurt. Blood. Let's start with blood. We get a furniture and a Rivian Sapper. Or maybe another Lirian Harshduk. Yeah, let's go with the Lirian Harshduk and the Forager. The rest goes into the graveyard. The Lirian Harshduk is first, then I suppose. Yeah. And then the Forager over here. Um, use the Forager. We kill the Arblast, which is great. And then I'm just going to keep going. Let's put the that rider here. And the brawler over here. Ah! And and the turn. There Crap. More of those guys. It's gonna boost immediately, so I'm not gonna get much use out of that. So let's put another Rivian Onager over here. Get him boosted and armored up. Then. Could damage him further, but it's not going to help me much, is it? Because all those order abilities are just going to go down the drain. So let's end the third. Wise choice. Another Arbalest. We can take that out easily. So let's use a Disgraced Brawler on both of them. And then just kill the Arbalest. I know that keeps boosting those guys, but I want to take out the armor. Like that. Gonna have to be careful, cause yeah, like this. Oh, oh, Lady Margarita told us. I can this. get more war wagons in. Like this. I can't target my own units with the energy, sadly. So let's just end the turn. Oh damn! That that hurts. That really hurts. Um, let's use Meev. To pull back the Hushduk. And then use uh, reinforcements. And a Sapper. Do I have another Sapper? I think I do, right? There we go. I'm hoping that's not going to be too much. But I think it might actually. Yeah, we'll see. So. War Wagon. One up here. Tiny battles. Hungry like a wolf, I am. One up here. You can try to win them all, but you and that's won't. basically it. And I lose everything else. Okay. That might not have been my smartest idea, but there we go. Um, Neef school down reduced to zero. Then we play Neva Granny Blade. Pull back, pull back one of the light infantry units, like this, and then get another forager in, and do we have a trinket that we can use? Yeah, the only thing we can feasibly use is the pitfall trap. So forager obviously next to the light infantry units, and then the pitfall trap over there. Quite fresh. Then kill two light infantry units, which does six damage twice, which does nothing at this point. But we did get a bit of space like this, so there we go. Alba! Fuck. Uh, so I don't, I can't use any order abilities anymore. Oh, and I do want to. If I put you over here, left, right, left. and I move a light infantry okay. unit over, I can use the forager again to get 12 damage on the other side with a bit of luck. That at least does something. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing anything, am I? So every time we do three damage like this, we're losing eight. But he's gonna keep boosting them by five. So might as well see what happens here. There goes another eight. 
And then sadly we're gonna have to do uh, this. This hurts, this really hurts. And then the third. I'm not gonna win this. I'm not gonna win this. So I can put the disgraced brawler down. And pause. But Nice Ted up to. Oh crap, yeah, he's gonna keep boosting. It hurts him. I think we're done. We can't win this, right? My boots got sand a plenty in them. Fuck. Yes. Yeah, we're just overwhelmed now. How is this ever supposed to work? But we lost the match, right? Oh god, this is not an easy one. Okay. So new tactic. I'm gonna try to not use any order abilities. Which means that we need to kill stuff as quickly as possible. Which means no foragers. Maybe a bit of foragers. What am I thinking about here? So get rid of the foragers. Get rid of the lands connects. So the blacksmith is great. Want to keep all my uh, units like this as well. I can't give charges to anything, and the energy is useless as well. Okay. Wise choice. Everyone, rally to me. Drive them back. So Arnulf can do quite a bit, but Arnulf will be targeted rather quickly. As long as I don't use order abilities, these guys won't actually get boosted, which is great. But once I start doing that, there's no returning. So let's put Arnulf on the field. Wanna know why I got my star? Then, and the turn. Now, the Stray Slinger, I can do three times four damage, which means that I should focus that on the armored cavalry dudes, like this. Now, I could use Arnulf as well, but that's not going to help us too much. Can I do something with Meave? I'm going to use Meave, but that's also an order ability. Yeah, let's hold off on that and just end the turn. Order. So now... Let's start by playing uh, Blood and see what we can get. Isbel would be nice. Isbel would be nice. Should have gotten her sooner. But Isbel and the War Wagon? Yeah, the War Wagon. Isbel. Make love. Not war. And the uh, war wagon over here. You can try to win them all, but you won't. I won't use Arnulf this time. And we're gonna get six damage on us. Your life is mine now. Because of the arbalests. And they're all gonna go for Isbel, of course. 15 damage isn't much. 15 damage isn't much. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a Hail Mary here. And use Barnabas. Barnabas. Oh, uh, yes, yes, damage three it. units by three. If already damaged, destroy them instead. Unless we use Mandrake. Mandrake. And we get an Aratusa Adapt. Okay. <sighs> Doubt I'll ever pay off these school Um Get light infantry units in. Then that one, but that not gonna that's not gonna help us because we don't damn it, that was a bad option. I'm gonna kill the Alba Cavalry veteran over here. 
and then do I pull something back and play? We can also use Isbel. I can pull back Isbel then. Yeah. Let's pull back Isbel. A war wagon and a Rivian Sapper. So war wagon like this. And then the Rivian Sapper is gonna destroy all our light infantry units. Like this, that's uh, 36 damage in total, which should almost kill everything. Uh, and then... So that does 6 damage, but I do 4, so let's remove the armor from the Cavalryman. Yes! Yes! Alright, that's great. That's really, really great. Alright. And the turn. So we cleared out most of the armored cavalry, which are the most dangerous ones. Just gonna have to be careful now every single time when I do something. So, next up, the Disgraced Warrior. It's time to put our Skellige units on the field in the next turn. So let's just first do the Grey Rider. Naturally. At once. Just stay away from Arnjolf. He does not serve a purpose at this point, because I'm gonna lose more points than I'm gonna Wise get. Wise choice. More charges is not bad either. So this case warrior will get boosted Waiting by the Grey Rider. Personal invitation. And then the turn. Alba! Okay, fair enough. Then the Devana runes turn to kill a bunch of copies of the disgraced warrior. I guess. Then we can use the disgraced warrior to take out one of the Alba armored cavalry. Like that. And and the turn. And there's another one. So now. Still only four units. Lyrian blacksmiths. So play back. It's exactly what I do. The Devana Runestone. Yeah, let's do that. Devana Runestone. On the Disgraced Warrior again. There we have that. And and the turn. So there's that. How many Warriors do I still have left? I think I have... Why are these not boosted? They're not showing them as boosted, but... According to the deck, I only have one more Disgraced Warrior in my deck. So what I was planning to do isn't really gonna help, I think. Okay, I'm gonna have to try. Choose an ally and play all copies of it from your deck. Disgraced warrior. We got one more disgraced warrior out. Yeah! Let's end the turn. And then I'm gonna have to be really careful. Because I think, I don't know what... Um, yes. Rainit's new ability is. Or didn't I add him to... He, oh no, he transformed and that's why I didn't add him to the deck again. So let's... First use the Disgraced Warrior on the Alba Armored Cavalry. Like that. Then use Meef To pull back... The Disgraced Warrior. Like this. Or the Wagenberg and Dogwood 2 Blades. So the Wagenberg on my row with the least amount of units. Then... Dogu two blades. Who can actually spawn... On, kill me. Multiple units. Me. Let's just swap that around constantly. <laughs> and there goes the last two. Okay, so that gives us 10 damage on the Wagenberg. I can get 5 damage off, like this. Then, reduce Meave's cooldown to 0. Use Meave again and pull back the Grey Rider. And now, this is for all the marbles. The Pitfall Trap and the Rivian Sapper. The Pitfall Trap over... Here, I suppose. Like this. 
And then the sapper. Stop your yapping and start digging. And kill the black infantry arbalest. And then four damage on the Alba armored cavalry. And use the Wagenberg to kill the back row. Like this. So that's 220 points versus 21 with no order abilities left. And he loses most of his cards. Because we killed one of the pikemen. So let's see how this ends. It's gonna be close. That's gonna boost them every turn by far. But uh, I think we've done it. Ooh, another card. And that's the last one. Whew. Damn, that was tough. Okay, great. Now let's run them. But back to the excitement. Near the battle's end, me faced a black clad officer. Nimbly dodging his strike, she countered. The queen's sword sank deep, the hilt rattling his breastplate. A rush of hot blood covered Meave's hands. The winged helmet toppled from the officer's head, exposing a sweaty face, gasping for breath. Mean! Win! Before the queen stood a ruddy-haired boy with long eyelashes. He was Willem's age, perhaps a bit older. His body slumped, then disappeared beneath the malodorous foam atop the murky waters. Okay. Neve cast away her sword as if it had burned her hand. Majesty, what is it? Are you hurt? Raynard said, rushing to her side. No, I'm not. It's fine. Give the order to march. With no barge, we must walk to Red Lobindon along the riverbank. Your Majesty, we must tend to the wounded. Use the rest of the day, I wager. We ain't time enough for that, interjected Gascon. That was but the vanguard sent in pursuit to slow us down. And even so, they outnumbered us two to one. What happens when the main force arrives? We must flee. Now. And abandon the injured, to bleed to death in the mud. Alas, Reynard, yes. Unless you'd rather we stayed and died with them. Fuck. Fuck. I hate decisions like this. Abandon the injured and march immediately. Give the medics time to dress the soldiers' wounds. I'm gonna have to give them time, right? I'm gonna... I'm gonna get... Nipped in the butt if I can't pick the correct... Well, the correct... The morally high... The moral high ground this time. But I'm gonna lose Isbel. I'm gonna lose Egg if I don't do this, so... Give the medics time to dress the soldier's wound. We still have Isbel. I'm hoping that speeds it up a bit. Gascon is right. Should Nilfgaard close the distance between us, we'll stand little chance. Whew. At least you've the sense to... But I would sooner perish than let my men rot in this accursed swamp. The medics will tend to all the wounded. Then... What will be, will be. I tell you what will be, snarled Gascon. Ep die, he'll take a butcher's hook and gut you. Then hang you from Lyria Capital's walls. Yet, yeah, if this be your wish. Neve waited for the medics to sew the last stitch, tie off the last bandage. Only then did she order her force to move out. At the column's end, upon stretches, lay those without the strength to walk, consumed by fever, dazed or unconscious, dying. Fatigued and laden with the wounded, the Lyrians moved slow as molasses. Soon, Nilfgaard's forward elements had caught up. The Blackclads nipped at the Lyrian's tail with arrow volleys from the cover of trees and occasional forays by cavalry. They were in no hurry. They could torment their foes, weaken their spirit before the final clash. Crap. That's not good. Um, wait, we're still in anger now, right? Uh, where? Wait, where the hell? Wait, what? Oh. 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 Now we're at that final bit. But, I don't know where I missed the chest then, but... There we go, grabbing some more supplies. This is no good. This is no good. I made a big mistake there, I think. I made a big mistake. I made a big mistake. I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have bring... Brought the wounded with me. Here we go. Red Lobenden. Is it this? The, that's the same. 
camp we saw before, right? At long last, Meave spotted a dark form spanning the river's course, Red Lobindon's Bridge. Just a brief stretch more, and the Lyrians would find themselves beyond the invaders' grasp, free and clear of bogs, and the beasts that prowled. Yet joy at this sight soon gave way to despair. The bridge was dark, black, from the horde of Nilf guardians that held it. Clearly, the Blackclads had divined the path of Meave's flight and had cut off her last means of escape. That's it. We're dead men. Oh, they'll cut us down to the last. No, they won't. Meave shut her eyes, felt them sting with fatigue. She knew when she turned, she could not show her men one ounce of fear, one pinch of doubt. She gripped her reins tightly. The leather dug into her skin, helping her hold back her tears. And when the queen finally spoke, her voice was strong and boomed over the river's roar. I know what you wish to hear. The queen began. That the gods watch over us. That we'll come through the fray unharmed. That a friendly force is but moments away. Those would be lies. The truth is as bitter as it is undeniable. We stand cornered. Cannot win this fight, cannot flee it. We can but choose how to die. Hanged from the boughs like common criminals, or weapons in hand like the fighters we are. I've made my choice. Tang, you made yours! With that cry, Meave broke for the bridge toward a forest of spears into a deluge of arrows. She let the tears fall from her eyes. Tears of rage, fear, fatigue. It was not until she'd almost reached the enemy line that she dared glance backward. And she saw she was not alone. Look at that. The battle for the bridge. I'm getting emotional, guys. Whew. Here we go. Neve had hoped she'd never die in her own bed. Surrounded by snot-nosed, teary-eyed grandchildren. Rather, she wished for a worthy end. Armor shining brightly. Lyrian banner waving magnificently in hand. Yet... Under current circumstances, it seemed more likely that she'd die among the rushes, filthy with sweat and mud, trampled under the hoofs of Nilfgaardian horses. Could this truly be the fate the gods had decided for her? One more story battle Defend the Queen! Valeria! on the bridge. And I still haven't checked out Gascon, did I? God damn it. Because I think Gascon left the deck because he changed into his plus version. That's annoying. That's really annoying, but so Meef, immune and permanent resilience. Probably if she dies, this is over and we get five Alba cavalrymen. Okay. And we don't have a leader. We don't have our leader ability. Crap. But we have a card that's completely useless then. Okay, so let's start with the... Uh, what did we have here? The Alba Cavalry, if in hand, dagger on the battlefield, strike itself by two whenever an enemy unit appears on the ranged row, and damage all enemies by one, that wish damage all units on this row by four. Okay. Tactically, this is doable, although we're missing a few cards that might be handy. So let's start with two war wagons. Can't take it one. There we go. And I have place for space for another one, right? Can't even the entire row. Like a wolf because this one damages all enemies by one, which is fine on a cooldown of two. I don't think. Yeah. So that's gonna destroy the lowest ally on this row. Fine. Okay, so we placed a lot of light infantry units, which is fine. Spawn three copies of a dead wish unit, that's also fine, but we're gonna start with blood. Blood, 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 blood. Gives us two Aretusa adapts. That might actually be handy. So there goes to those guys, and then we can. Ooh. Lady Margarita told Double us up this. on the war wagons. Because we have reinforcements in hand. <sighs> now to ever pay off these school loans. Double double up on the war wagons and, and the third one of the Artusa adapts is gonna die. 
The three of our light infantry units are also gonna die. There we go. And since we haven't used any order abilities yet, he also killed the cow himself, which is interesting. Now, I think I'm gonna go for the forager. It's gonna trigger three copies, three copies, three copies. You know what? Let's waste the marching orders card. Because I can't use my leader ability anyway. So let's end the turn. The cow is gonna destroy one of the light infantry units in a second. Wise choice. Ooh, those are boosted a hell of a lot. Those are going down. So after two turns and turns, start to destroy the lowest ally on this road. Don't know why that changed, but. Choose an ally and play all copies of it from your deck. Here we go. We have... No, no, no. We don't have the space. I do, however, have the space for... To do this. That gives us 18 damage. Takes those out, at least. Then we get damaged by one. There we go. And um, we get 12 more damage. That's one. Come on, the other one. Ah! Damn it. Could have killed the other one. And they keep drawing cards. This is not going to end well. Now, reinforcements on the war wagons. So that gives us four you war wagons. Try to win them all, but you won't. Can't take it anymore. Um, Got any battles? Hungry like this. And I made a mistake. Ah! I filled the, the board too much. Oh! Oh! I forgot that this was a, a two-turn battle. Okay, never mind. Does any of his units have resilience? No, but I do. Okay, okay, we're not done yet. Can I redraw? Don't shoot! I can't. Don't shoot! Dandelion! We're friend, not foe! Dandelion! Damn it, just gets better and better. I Garold! I get here. Cut the way back to the bridge. Yes. Bolster the defense. Awesome. So key here is part of that group that Geralt is traveling with. So key here different is an elf guardian. He doesn't call himself an elf guardian, but technically he is. Boost Geralt by two and duel an enemy on cooldown. Boost key here different by two and duel an enemy. Yeah. So let's do that. Oh. That's not good. But at least we get that. Um, now. Trinkets? Trinkets? How many uh, Skalliger units do I have in my hand? In my graveyard? Not much. Might have been a too quick there. But. I think you're Barnabas. Really like this one. Mark a unit and boost it by 10. After 3 turns on turn start, destroy that unit and self. Play a random bronze unit from each deck. Let's guess it on the Mandrake. And we get... That. Oh, I should have... Should have put that in between there. I forgot what that actually did. Okay. So, 9 on that part. They're going up to 6-2. Then the disgraced warrior is gonna get damaged by 6, which is gonna get him to 7, which is not enough. Crap. Let's damage the Alba Cavalry Veteran. Then... Oh fuck, he goes over, of course. Like this. And we kill one of them, at least. Okay, so we only need to worry about one now. Then the Disgraced Brawler can start damaging the armor. Three, but it gets four in return, so I don't get anything out of that. So let's end the turn. Key here is almost dead. Oh, immunity. So Arnjolf on that thing. Because it removes the immunity if I get close enough. 
Let's start with Gascon, because he doesn't have an order ability, and we remove <laughs> this to. Uh, Wait, you're serious? Grey Riders like that. With the two Grey Riders, I might actually be able to finish this off. Oh. I warned you. Forager. Use this. There we go. Arniel, five damage on the Vanendal Elite. Because I need to get rid of that uh, immunity. And then the turn. Oh, there goes Geralt. Your Majesty, what? No! <sighs> I've lost my tooth. Son of a whore. Aha, there we go. That's what actually needs to happen. But Geralt died. Geralt died. Okay. And that for some reason turned the row into fire as well. Is that his that wish, by the way? No, it's not. I don't know why that triggered. This case warrior it is. Next to K here then. <laughs> there we go. Uh Arnulf on the Vanendal Elite. Taking out the immunity. And then we can use the Forager to boost the other units. And the turn. Okay, here's gonna die. Nothing I can do about that, but now let's put the Lyrian Hajduk in between the Forager and the Wagenberg. Uh, and upwards, right? There we go. That's six. Now, with the Disgraced Warrior's ability. I could take out some units in a second. Or do it right now. 13. No, I still I still take too much damage. So end the turn. This is gonna be one hell of a drawn out fight, by the way. I'm winning points wise. And it's going downhill quickly. Oh, I'll draw two cards and boost all allies by two. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Okay, okay. Let's use the Rivian Sapper to damage our own unit. So let's get the the, oh, the disgraced warrior out, and then damage the Alba Cavalry veteran. It's not going to help us much, but there we go. Then Arniolf can still do five damage. I'm gonna keep damaging the machine over there. Huh, that was not in the spell books. Ah, there goes K here. Now, Artus are adept. As you wish, man. What do I want to have in my deck? Hmm, Lyrian Harshtuks, maybe, or Slingers. Slingers. Let's go with Slingers. That's nine. Then five damage, uh, six damage on the scorpion, and and the turn. Yeah. I want to kill off that machine before we go. Forager over here. If the ring won't come, I'll just take the whole finger. Then and the turn. We, lo we lose a bunch of units. That's not bad. Not bad at all. I just want to have the Wagenberg survive. Oh my god, they boosted immensely. So now, Stray Slinger. On the back row. And that gets us 12 on the Wagenberg. Arnulf can damage the Black Infantry Arbalests by a bunch. And then the Wagenberg can do 12 damage on this entire row, killing it almost completely. 
And then we get the Slingig, which can damage these guys like this. There goes the Scorpion. And then we can kill off the Arbalest with the Disgraced Warrior. And use... The Forager isn't going to help us and we use another uh, Order ability that way. So let's pause. Life is mine now. Ah, don't do anything. Wise choice. So he's going to draw two more cards in a second. This is ridiculous, the amount of cards you can pull. Ow. Order! Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. He's really waiting on stuff. So that's 15 points, that's nothing. Two more cards. And mm. 58 points. Highly curious. Oh. Stop. Yeah, one more card and 20 points. One more card and 19 points. And out yeah, there we go. Oh crap, and he draws another card. Fuck. Wait, do we have our leading ability now? Oh, this is ridiculous. Okay. It's not the end of the world yet. But it's close. I want egg. I have redraws on the last one. I want egg. Please give me egg. Ah! Oh my, what? Oh, they spawn more veterans. Yeah, I spawn four armored cavalrymen. The damage amount is immensely with Isbel, though. An army's a waste of time for one like me. I can't use Meave's ability, I think. Wait, what? Damage an enemy unit and all other enemies with the same power by four. Since when can I do that? Yeah. This game needs to explain a few things. Isbel on the field. I'd hoped we could solve this some other way. So as long as it doesn't do 8 damage, I'm fine. It's Bell first. I need to clear that field now. <laughs> Boom. Boom, baby. Boom. And the regiment drummer with a forager. One man's battlefield is another man's right And the Lydian blacksmith. Harvest. Necessity. <laughs> Inventions mum. And blood, definitely blood. There we go, egg. And I don't care. This is case brawler then. Okay, we have a good chance of winning this now. The knight should help. Our codex commands. And use the furniture to get that extra twenty points from the artifact from the trinket. Here we go. All or nothing. Your life is mine now. Yeah, you can try, buddy. I think you're down. A grotto doom anime. Yep. There we go. We won. Oh my god, I kinda wasted Gerald and Kay here like that, but never mind, there we go. Meave was victorious on the banks of the Yuruga, but paid dearly for it. She lost a host of men and suffered harm herself. Yet she'd have been doomed if not for a certain white-haired witcher. Meave longed to meet her mysterious savior and set off in search of him as soon as the battle dust... This is a great story. Straight from the books. She found him with the field surgeon and learned he was none other than the witcher Geralt. Yes, incredible as it may seem, I've heard the tale from several and can vouch for its truth. At any rate, making naught of the fact that Geralt's ears were ringing from a blow with a mace, Meave began immediately to interrogate him. You for Fabwood? Asked Meave, prodding him insistently. For a spell, Geralt worried his hearing was shot, but then realized the queen had a lisp. Worked out that way, I guess. There he is. <laughs> Meave gagged on the blood in her mouth. Someone hold me. 
The Queen felt Geralt merited the highest honor, a knighthood. Another monarch might have delayed until a more opportune time, but not Meave. Meave delayed nothing. Count Odo, you, sir, do the honors. Alas, I cannot because of my tooth. For valor shown in battle, I, Meave, by the gods' grace, Queen of Lyria and Rivia, hereby do knight thee. Geralt of praise unknown, the bridge you felled with men from Rivia. Or so you guess. <laughs> I guess it falls to me to dub thee Geralt of Rivia. There we go. Geralt of Rivia is born. Witcher to the rescue. That was a great moment. I was waiting for that the entire playthrough. So that battle is straight from the books. Like, almost word for word. Not entirely. There was a lumber camp, and we didn't see Meave a lumber camp come there. Home, though by a circuitous route, through Edern's smoking embers, Angren's beast-infested quagmires, cross Mahakam's snow-capped ridges. But she had returned, cloaked in legend, a mighty army in tow. The moment was weighty and not to be tainted even by Geralt of Rivia's disappearance, or dare we say desertion. The hero of the battle for the bridge was now a sought man. Yet Meave was determined to take back her realm, with or without the Witcher's aid. Valyrian's daring escapade behind enemy lines, and the triumphant victory at the battle for the bridge that crowned it, breathed new life into the North's war effort. Bands of resistance fighters now swarmed the conquered lands, while Kedwin and Redania, on the verge of swearing fealty to the Emperor, suddenly broke off talks with the invader. The Nilfgaardian war machine suddenly screeched to a halt, and the tide of war turned. Facing a united north, the invader had to withdraw the bulk of its forces from Lyria and Rivia. The way was cleared for Meave to retake her lost lands, defeat General Epdahi, and depose Willem. Or perhaps mother and son would not have to fight after all. Milady, I come at King Willem's bidding. Prince Willem's. <clears throat> His Majesty proposes a meeting. No arms, no escorts. His Majesty? Welp's barely tall enough to reach his mother's bosom. For shame! Silence. Let him say his piece. His Majesty, Willem I, wishes to discuss the possibility of a truce. Interesting. He wishes to surrender. Is that his aim? Your words, not mine, Your Grace. I have a few more on the tip of my tongue. But save them I shall for later. <clears throat> Willem I's chosen the site for the parley. In... Willem I will choose Nout. If he wishes to speak, let him meet me midst the ruins of Devil's Tower. Understood, Your Grace. I'll relay your terms. Willem's emissary rode off, serenaded by hisses and jeers. Frightened by the clamor, his horse reared and kicked. The rider forced his mount to obey with cracks of his crop, striking many more times than was necessary. The fool. Nagel toss him off first chance it gets. Soon as he loosens the reins. No great loss, I wager. But tell me, your thoughts on this reunion? Sounds a ruse to me. But I know that won't stop you. Whence this certainty? Come now, me. At the end of it all, he's your son. You still care about him, it's obvious. Um, Willem's a traitor, I'll treat him as such. You couldn't be more right. Of course she loves her son. But she is furious. Um. <sighs> You're absolutely right. Perhaps let bygones be bygones. Perhaps it's not too late. Only one way to know. Let's go. I mean, you're walking with a brigand. Meave rode out clad in golden plate, her banners waving proudly overhead. She no longer led a band of ragtag partisans, but an army able to fend off an empire and drive its soldiers from her lands. And there um, we go. I've something you must see without undue delay. 
Okay, we'll have to check that out later on. And this is probably the final chapter. I'm quickly gonna take a look at the map. It looks... Like it's pretty small, as I suspected. Although, nope, never mind. Never mind. Take that back. Take that back. Um, but is this the same map as it was before? It kind of looks like it. No, 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 it's not the same. It's definitely not the same. Okay. Rivia. Rivia it is. So, uh, yeah, they kind of cut uh, Geralt's part in it a bit short. Not that I mind, he deserted rather quickly after the battle on the bridge. So, uh, that was, it was just a great moment. So, uh, with that, I'm going to take a little break. We're back in our golden armor. So, thank you guys enormously for watching. And next up, we'll head towards through the lands of Rivia. Thank you guys enormously for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Goodbye.